unboxing video on Logitech G920. But first, I'm gonna show y'all my old G25, which is really worn out and all that. Brake pedal is supposed to be a lot softer than the G920. Um, I have a, a shifter on it. It's a lot heavier than the original one. That's why I like it, and nothing is done to that. So we're gonna unbox this right now. Start by opening the shifter. Save the best for last. Uh, I haven't opened it yet or anything. A lot of people open this stuff and then rebox it again to see know exactly what's in there. But I didn't be open this. I don't really, really want to mess with the box. Let's see what comes inside the shifter. I read up that the G25 shifter wasn't compatible with the um <clears throat> the G920. And I'm not really doing a review on it, it's more just unboxing. So yeah, there's plenty of reviews on unboxing up there too. And yeah. So inside the box, it comes with the... It comes with just the shifter. And the, um, what you call it? The plug up's obviously in the back. Pretty nice shifter. I'm gonna have to change the shift now because I don't like how they sit high like that. I'd rather sit low, but these sit really high. And it's really a lot different than my other one. If you look how much pressure I gotta apply to move it, this one's just. This one I can't even do that with my thumb like that that easy. A lot of pressure on this one. So. I'm a super lady. So that's a big difference from my G25 shifter, which I would expect because it's like two different generations. And then there's no none of this, which I expected to because um the G27 didn't have it either. And there's a paper in here. Um, there's a little stuff on this box, but like I said, it's not a review, it's just an unboxing. So yeah, there's just little stuff, but you don't really need anything that's just how to plug it up, which is obvious too. Uh, let me unbox, let me open this box now. This is the paper part. This is the most annoying part too. Because the shifter came before the steering wheel, like two days before the steering wheel. Actually a day. And that the only day that I had to wait just to get the steering wheel and not open the shifter was the most annoying part of it. Like forever. Nobody needs that. Uh, I want the plugs. It looks like here they give you three different plugs. Now that's the question. Why? I mean, I hope nobody loses three plugs. It's kind of weird, you know? Or if I say two plugs. Alright, so they give you three different power cables. I'm not exactly sure if that's power cables, but I would think so. I'm guessing they are. So basically, if you lose two of them, you have one left, I think, I'm guessing. Oh no, I didn't even notice, look. Different type of plugs. That's cool, interesting. And then, I was gonna say, why did they give you three of these, but they only give you one of those? Alright, so they're different type of plugs. That's interesting. And now you have the whole apple. Let me take the pedals out first, it's gonna be easier that way. like my third unboxing video and next to unbox cool stuff not just dumb simply little stuff this is something pretty big for me because I've always wanted the newer steering wheel I have my G25 and I spot one with the converter which I probably will try to get rid of some I don't know if I can keep them some junk so this I'm probably gonna put back in this box just put it aside and stack it up with my turtle beach boxes over there. So the pedals, that was the same. 
It feels a little hard to do. That's not wrong, but whatever. Actually, this doesn't feel that bad. This feels terrible. I gotta take the um, rubber piece out of it, which is to be it's fully smooth and take off the um on the like, spring. The rubber piece back there I take off. I don't know why they did that because it feels kinda weird. Like it stopped right there and then like right here. It stopped and it's just really hard. Yeah. Alright. Um move that aside. Let's get the scan roll out. I was happy to see the scan roll just because I tried using the converter. So I can actually get all the buttons now. All the buttons actually work. So like I said, this one, these two brakes, this brake will all the way down, no problem. This one, it stops like less than halfway. And then there's a rubber piece down there blocks it, so I gotta take that off. Um, sorry for the AC noise in the background, but whatever. Probably not too loud, there's just some fan mode. Uh, I'm gonna get this up. One second. Alright, I got it out. Um, it's a lot darker than I thought it was. Um, I think the price dropped them a little bit now, so it's pretty good. You get them with the shifter for a lot cheaper now than what I paid. Pretty nice. A lot quieter than my G29. I mean G25. So it's a lot quieter. Now I'm gonna set it up and then, yeah, I'm gonna kind of set up the steering wheel and then show you guys how I have it mounted and all that. There's these little stuff at the bottom. These are to plug them straight into the Xbox. Which is cool. This is a little adapter that's wrapped up. It's like a little adapter. I mounted and all that and then I'm gonna get to using it. Alright guys, so I hooked it all up. I have the shifter itself and this hooked up. And then the pedals. The pedals hooked up. Oh yeah. That's good. It's pretty stiff. I'm not gonna look at it. You hook it. When you plug it up, it's pretty stiff. I mean, this is a lot stiffer than I thought it would be. Still sounds normal, but whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and play probably GTA or something. I mean, not GTA, play Forza. Uh, it's so weird to actually have the buttons marked out for you now. But alright guys, I'll probably make a separate video if someone comments about it and tells me to. Alright guys.